I'm not sure how many of you know this, but um, I suffered from Well, hi, happy Friday. So this is gonna be a very different type of video. I thought I would start the year, sort of end of 2023, and kind of be a bit more, a bit more open. Oh my God, the music. Alexa, turn off music. Okay, we can continue now. Yeah, so it's just gonna be like a, just an honest chat really on what's going on with me and just kind of, just tell you what I want to do for this year in terms of my my health, my well-being, my life, really. I sound so dramatic. I don't want to feel like I'm putting you off when I start talking about this, but I just felt like I wasn't having a nervous breakdown in 2023, but I ended the year sort of a little bit feeling very stressed. And um, it's never good to be that stressed, it really isn't. So I wanted to just talk to you about some key things that's really helping me and I've just been doing them all last year, past 12 months, give or take, and they're just helping me going forward. So I thought, well, if they're helping me, they'll help someone out there as well. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, an oldie but a goodie. First off, let me put this into a bit of context. Oh, I need to get another one of these. These foundations are so good. First off, it's trying not to stress as much anymore um i hold on to it too much and i know i do i've actually suffered from shingles that's it shingles and uh, i've been diagnosed with it i've been to the doctor i've had it since i was a child and i've noticed that stress brings it on and i get it on my back it looks like a rash um, it's infectious so you have to be careful and you don't want clothes touching your body because you can you know it's it's very sensitive but uh, I could feel, and this is going to sound strange, except for maybe someone who's, who's had shingles, I can feel the sensation of it coming on when I'm really stressed. I don't get the full-blown rashes, but internally I, I, know what the, I know what that feels like now. So I start to get those feelings. And it's just my body's way of saying, like, you know, Karen, you're working a bit too much. Pull back, you need help. You know, that kind of stuff. So stress is one of those main ones. So I've tried to, as of this year, going forward, and just going forward, period, not just this year, but I want to make a point to, by the way, this was the YSL concealer, which is exactly my color. I love this thing so much, this one. But I'm also going to use on top something lighter. I'm going to use the, actually, I was going to use the Bobbi Brown, but I'm going to use the MAC instead, MAC 24 Hour, this one. This is super cool. So I'm gonna use that just to lighten and brighten under my eyes. So stress. So I found one thing that's helped me has been exercising. I found out about Copilot. I've told you about them this year and I partnered with them this year and I have again for this video. And they were, it's, I have to say, out of all the partnerships that I've had on YouTube, this is one that actually I'm using beyond these videos. Like when I talk about Copilot, it's not just for this, from day one. And it's basically, it's a, it's like having a personal trainer in your pocket. I've said this before. They've helped me have a sense of routine because I know that when I, when I exercise, it's one of the things that really helps me. It's like a coping mechanism. It's more about the health side of it for me. I was just getting to the point where I was getting like, you know, winded going upstairs. I mean, just, uh, it was just getting a bit silly for me. And I was like, hang on, this is getting a bit, to be a bit too, too much. I know what to do now, because I didn't before, and it's helping me with stress. I think that's the bottom line. I could follow YouTube videos. Uh, yes, I could join a gym, but the thing is with joining a gym is, I just don't have the time. And if you miss that instructor's class, you've missed it, you're done. Because you're working to the time of when that class is versus when it when you can work out and i've been through that too many times now where I've, I've joined a gym you know i miss a class and then you miss another class and you again you're working on their schedule so with copilot i just do it whenever i feel like and you adjust it to how many of your routines you want to do another thing for this year is just getting help it's mostly michael and i that work together i uh, have a full-time assistant but Unfortunately, I'm going to be looking for another one. Um, and I think I'm going to have somebody maybe part-time 
just so we can walk together before we run. This is such an unusual job doing content creating and it's very difficult to put into words. I don't have a nine to five role to myself, so to speak. And 24 seven you're on and there's no such thing as Monday to Friday. But one thing I've really needed help with and you'll notice because you'll see I haven't been posting videos like towards, I think it was, was it November or was it December that I wasn't, I, I missed like two or three videos in a row back to back on Fridays. And you know me, I never do that. I usually am pretty, pretty consistent give or take, because I'm not a machine, but uh, that was an unusual moment for me and I felt so guilty that I wasn't posting anything here. And I wasn't posting anything because I was getting, I was fed up. I was tired and I was fed up. So I was physically just exhausted and also creatively as well. So I didn't know what to post on YouTube or, or to say on YouTube. So. I, I just didn't bother doing anything. And I felt just so guilty. And some of you would message me and say, hey, have you gone on holiday? Haven't seen your videos. Um, you know, I missed the Friday videos. And I just felt so bad, like I was letting you down on YouTube. I say on YouTube because I have still been posting on Instagram and TikTok. They are much easier platforms to post on. YouTube is, it takes much, much longer. I used to think before I started YouTube that you just press record, talk, and then just upload the video. And no, 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 no. They actually take hours at a time for each video. I was just burnt out and I had creator's block. So that's why I kind of just stopped posting videos. This is an interesting mascara. I've never seen a wand like this. Christian Cohen's Smashbox collaboration. Look at the, I don't know if you can see this wand. Can you see this wand? Look at the shape of it. Anyway. It's interesting. Look at the lashes though. The lashes are lashing. So creators block. So I've realized that it's okay to step away and to take some time. It's okay as well. And also to hire more help. That's another thing. Remember, if you, you can't do it all yourself and if you need help, look for it. I have been asking for a video editor, not for my YouTube videos, I've got somebody, but for my short form videos, which is Instagram Reels and my TikToks, YouTube Shorts. You know, I need somebody to help with editing those. It's, it's the volume. It's not like I can't do them because up until watching this, I'm actually doing all of them. But it's when it's piled on with other things you've got to get done that you start to bog down and weigh you down. And I just want to ultimately get to a place where I'm just creating and that's my role. And Anything else is I can hand it over to somebody else to do. And I kind of did a cry for help on my TikTok, and I think on Instagram. Did I do one here too? I may have. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I might have mentioned it here too. But I know I did on TikTok because as a result, I got a couple of messages on, and I have reached out to, there's two in particular possible video editors that I may have found now. That will be amazing. And I can't wait because that's one of my main goals this year is to, if I need help, make sure I find it because it's very hard to find uh, video editors, good video editors, that is, emphasis on good. And that's been the, the hardest thing for me. So hopefully I'm at that spot. Now, another thing was my diet. Now, I, as you know, I go to Europe at least twice a year because of Fashion Month. And I realized that whilst I was overseas, you know, I really noticed it in France because I because I like eating their like baguettes and their croissants etc. But I realised that I wasn't getting bloated like I used to. When I say used to, like when I'm in America, I always get like a bloated stomach, um, and also my joints were starting to hurt me. I would wake up in the morning, no lie, this has all happened last year, and my fingers would feel stiff and painful. My knees would feel painful and they were a bit stiff. And it was always when I woke up in the mornings, I thought, holy shit, is this like early arthritis or something? And then I noticed that when I went away to those countries or like you know, to France, I was fine. Those issues disappeared. And I put two and two together that I realized it was coming from what I was eating. And the reason I'm saying that is because of a book I'm reading called Wheat Belly. And I know I've talked about it before, but I wasn't able to just get rid of that step they, this is called wheat belly because of the stomach. 
that you get, which is like a, almost like a beer belly, like a gut. And I felt like I was not just feeling the difference, but noticing the difference myself. Just that the, the wheat that they produce in America is just pretty, let's put it this way. They allow more chemicals in the foods here than they do in other countries. And it's just more preservatives and additives, etc. And I've talked about this before on my Instagram stories and on my Instagram threads. And all of you have unanimously agreed with me and say, oh, oh yeah, when I went away to so-and-so, I noticed that I was like, you know, I could eat much more better. I wasn't getting bloated, this and the other. And a lot of you said like when you eliminated certain foods, you started to feel better. Uh, the joint pain disappeared, the excess, excess mucus, I know it sounds TMI, that disappeared. And I've noticed the exact same thing for me. So I have made a point now to try and eliminate eating wheat, eliminating it as much as possible. And once I did that, I noticed a couple of things. When I was doing certain exercises with Copilot, I used to get, like, my knees were hurting me a little bit, especially my um, my right knee. And I was telling Candice, my personal trainer, because they have a personal trainer who's there. You get assigned somebody, and they work around exercises that helps you with certain issues that you might have with your body. Like, if you're, you've got a bad back, knee, whatever it is. So you can still, they'll still give you a personalized exercise routine. Candice was giving me particular, like, knee strengthening exercises, which was fantastic. Having her guide me through the exercises that I could do, was absolutely life changing and it was, it's a game changer for me because I know a friend of mine, I'm not going to put her on blast and say her name, it's not Paula. And she said, has said to me, oh, I'd love to exercise, but you know, it, my knees play up. And I was exactly the same way as her. Once I changed the food issue with the wheat, doing these exercises has been even easier for me and just moving around, getting up in the morning, the joint issues that I had, that's gone, the knees, gone it's it just made a massive difference and uh, last year was i went away during thanksgiving uh, i just just went away michael and i after i did the clothing line launch i decided you know what i need i need a break i i was just short circuiting and i could just tell you know when you can just tell you've just done too much it was one of those so we went away my passport at the time had expired so i couldn't leave the country so i went to florida because it's within the country and I just needed to get to the closest beach where there was warmth. And we felt like Florida was it. And I just went from a hotel room to the pool to the beach and just copy repeat every single day. I just needed to just do that. And I'm so, so glad that I did. And the best part of that was I, I, was, still, I was still exercising as well. I just took co-pilot with me because you can. And I just worked out on the balcony and I just switched because normally I do like dumbbells, like, you know, weights, but I just switched to using um, bands and uh, Candice recommended which bands to get. She sent me the link. She's just like, it's just like you have a friend who's in fitness and she told me which ones to get. And um, I was just using those instead and working out on the balcony. It's just, it was just so much easier thing. But at the same time, I didn't feel like, and it wasn't a chore either because I felt like the exercises were very zen. She knew I was away. I have never had that level of help when it comes to like fitness before. Okay, I'm gonna just finish off in here. I just realized that there wasn't, you can't really see the bronzer on me. So I'm just gonna put a bit up here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless. I love this one. So I know this is not my typical video and I'm highly aware of that. Cause I, you know, I'm, I'm the fashion person. That's what I love. You know that. And that's what my channel is, is about. I, I thought about how do I, how do I sort of start my first few videos of 2024? And I thought, I think I would be lying to myself if I don't open up and let you know about something that's been really big on my mind, not wanting to repeat last year, 2023, and to go into this year doing exactly the same thing and not asking for help, trying to do it all by myself. You know what I mean? I just, I was like, you know, I, I can't, I can't do that anymore. I was trying to find help. And if I didn't find it, I was like, sod it, I'll just do it myself. Do you know, I was like, I was in that kind of mode, but this is the year for me where it's going to be about teamwork, building that slowly, but surely finding people who can help me. And then I'm able to like produce more videos and able to just not even just produce more videos, but just being able to relax and enjoy 
what I am, you know, what I am doing. I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna put this in my favorite, by the way. Look how much is left. I gave it to Paula while she was here. If I can get any people who, who are good at what they do and who aren't afraid to roll their sleeves up and to help me, then I am all for it. Also, you don't need to have an um, Apple Watch because I've done the exercises without it. But when you do, it has like this tracking technology. So I know, I know I've said this before in other videos, but it's true that they, the instructor who you have with you, they literally can monitor how you are working out while you are working out. So it's as close as possible to having an instructor in the room without them actually being with you. So like I'll be doing, I'll, I'll never forget, I've said this before because it's so true. I'll be doing a workout like with a dumbbell. I'll be going like this, like doing backhand and just like lifting it. And it will say, slow down <laughs> or lift higher or don't go down so far. You know, so there's, it's literally like somebody's there with you. Plus they have like a, a, on the screen, it's gonna be on your phone. You can actually see somebody doing the exercises with you. So you're not just in this vacuum of just staring at your, your room, wherever you are working out. You're actually doing the exercise with somebody as well. So it's, I'm really glad I do it. And I don't mind if I don't have co-pilot anymore, like working with them sponsorship wise, I'm gonna just continue doing it quietly because it's made a biggest difference. And I have, I've always been someone who was working out, but as time has gone by, I've just found it's a combination. I'm not gonna lie, I got lazy. Plus I was getting a joint issue, so that was putting me off, like my knees. And I was thinking it's because, you know, is it that what's, um, you know, screwing me up? Plus time, time is not on my side. Um, I'm, I get so busy but I don't want to make excuses anymore because you can always make time for it. You know, you can make time for anything that you really want to do. Eight, I can work out eight o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock at night, work out whenever I want to, not when an instructor tells me, you know, at a gym where I'm supposed to be working out. Doing Because I've told up front everything about me, what my goals are, what my injuries are, and they, she tailors the workout for that. It's, they're working. I'll show you on the screen here. You can see the workouts. You can see like, I think there's gonna be like a green dot that represents the workouts that I've been doing. So you can see that no lie, outside of these videos, I am quietly every week doing these exercises. I feel like, do I need a little bit more bronzer? You know what, I've told uh, my friends about it as well. Not sure how many of you know this, but um, I suffered from fibroids. Um, it's very common amongst black people, black women. We get it a lot. I know my mum had it. I'm not sure if my grandmother had it, my, my mother's mum. I know friends who've had it and I've had it, I had surgery once and they came back. This was about 10 years ago. And then I had surgery again because they came back. And as my gynecologist said, they're everywhere. So I had surgery again and I feel so much better. But once you, you it's a serious surgery, you go into hospital, you know, it cut you open basically. So once I had that surgery, my stomach, which was literally cut in half, I, you know, lifting up an iPhone hurt, let alone a dinner plate. You don't realize how much you use your stomach until it's gone. It took a good, just under a month, give or take, for me to fully recover. And I pre-recorded videos across all my platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube in advance of that operation. And then that way I could just kind of recover properly. But once I was fully recovered enough, I started doing co-pilot. But you know what I mean? It's been like my coach in my pocket, whether you've just had surgery, had a baby, you're on holiday, do you know what I mean? You can, you can still do a little something. It could just be like a 10 minute of stretching. It's helped me get much stronger down here. What everyone is wearing in New York, I will definitely be resuming those again. Um, I love them and I miss them just as much as you do. But as I've said before, they take weeks at a time to record and my time and just my energy has been low and I have not been able to keep doing them as frequently as I wanted to. So I'm hoping that with the combination of, you know, finding editors to help me, 
with you know the other short form videos that will help free up my time so I'm not chained to the phone 24 7 just editing reels editing TikToks whether it's organic or sponsored then repurposing it to YouTube shorts and then maybe putting it on Pinterest and then doing that every single day or every other day you know and then thinking of new content for YouTube and then doing do, 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 do Instagram do, 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 do. do you know what I mean I have to sort of try and get off that rat race and just lean into getting help and to trust letting go I think that's what it boils down to. So once I'm able to, to have that, then I'm able to free up my time to do those episodes. Cause you know, those are my, oops, sorry. You know, those are my labor of loves and I love doing them. I do, honestly. Um, I started doing those episodes because I am, as I've always said, I am a nosy Parker and I love stopping people and go, oh my God, where did you get that jumper? This one, which is down there, you know that. You know, stuff like that. I do that all the time with people on the street. So it's just a nice conversation and it's just, it's not even about that. It's just about, actually it is, no. It's about connecting with people and who have a shared interest, basically. That's why I do these episodes. Um, and I film them in such a way that it's something that I would want to watch. Each episode takes weeks. So, and I'm the only one doing it. I have no team. There's no editing of those. I edit those videos because they, there's a very specific style to those videos. A lot of you have noticed that. And that style is coming from me, the way I edit them. So I don't know if there is any editors out there who can edit the way I edit those videos. If there is, holler at me so I can uh, get some help and maybe that will help me do even more episodes. But it's a very specific style to those. And, you know, I think the whole point is I want to be able to, to continue doing those things that I love to do, but realize that I need to make sure I have that help in place. I wanted to mark this as that special video to be able to, for myself, look back and say, and I did it. Never feel afraid to talk about, you know, whether it's mental illness, whether it is trying to, uh, just acknowledging that you can't do it all and that you need help. I'm glad that I'm sharing a video like this because I want it to be able to relate to someone out there, whether it's on a fitness level, a mental health level, or that's what I wanted this video to feel like and to inspire you so that this year going forward, because I will be talking, I'll be switching to fashion after this. So this is just a one moment in time video, but to be able to, you know, put yourself in the best foot for the, this year ahead. I think that's the best thing I can say, because right now you're going to see a sea of videos doing a summary of the best of this and the worst of that, you know, of last year and lots of summary videos. And I will probably do a couple of them because I love seeing them and I love to shoot them. But I thought it was important to to carve out and make a video that is about you. All right. About me looking after that and click my co-pilot link. It's in the description below and you can get 14 day tree <laughs> tree. You can get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness with Copilot. As long as you sign up before February the 1st though. And like I told you, outside of these sponsorship videos, I'm gonna just continue using them quietly because I have already, I showed you on the screen, those are actual moments of when I'm actually exercising. I'm on a roll now. I feel like it's a habit at this point. So easy. And like I said, you don't have to have an Apple watch, but if you do, that's when you get that whole tracking where they're actually, mo it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's absolutely like, it's, it's weird when you start doing it, when you get this and you start, if you have one already and you just sync it, they're watching you <laughs> working out. It feels like they're watching you. They're not actually watching you, but it feels like it. But it's just nice because it makes the exercises safe and you know you're doing it the right way. If this video has helped you whether it's from a diet perspective, you know, when I told you about like the whole wheat thing, I especially want to know if anyone out there can relate to that alone. Let me know, give this video a thumbs up if you hopefully appreciated me taking the time to show you a video that was more about just about this and this, because that's what I wanted this to be about. Um, another video next week, Friday, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do it on, but it's probably going to be, oh, I know. Okay, I'm gone, but I'm not going to say because I'm just going to leave it as a surprise. You know where I am between this Friday and next, right? I'm on TikTok and I'm on Instagram. And if you do not have TikTok, you can always watch my TikTok videos on my YouTube shorts. I show about 80% of my TikTok videos. I repurpose them onto my uh, YouTube shorts. I will see you next week. And I really mean it this time. Take care, my loves.